morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm Mary. I'm Linda. And we're Pinky Mouse Sisters in the Kitchen. And we got a wonderful dish here that Linda's making today. Uh, I'm anxious to try it because it's different than most recipes of this kind. It is. And um, you're going to do the, um, you're, we already got some seasoning in the bowl, yes. but Mary's going to do the seasoning and I'm going to get the flour and stuff ready here. Um, okay, so you've already put an eighth of a teaspoon of gar garlic powder in here. Is that what you got in here? Yes. Okay. What, what's uh, on the recipe there? So eighth, and it's already in here, but I'm going to put a few more ingredients in the spices, but I'm not adding extra garlic. So the garlic is um, one eighth of a teaspoon, and this is chipotle. And on chipotle, well, chipotle, a fourth. I didn't leave it off. Did no, I? you didn't. I'm sorry. She's got a half a teaspoon in here, and I'm going to put a fourth. So that, so that would be three-fourths a teaspoon for this chicken, right? Yeah. Um, the chicken breasts that I'm using are, are really big, and that's why we're adding a little bit more yeah. seasoning to it because I don't want to not this have enough. Chipotle. All right. And salt. Um, for this amount of, of uh, chicken, we got uh, three teaspoons of salt. Now that may sound like a lot, but um, I've already got two in right, there, so you're, right. you're just going to add. I'm just a little adding bit more. one, but I'm giving you the measurements of what we're actually doing. I'm just putting one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper. While you're doing that, I'm going to check my oil. Okay. The total of pepper is one and a half teaspoons. Cayenne pepper. It's, again, three-fourths a teaspoon. She's got a half a teaspoon in here, and I'm putting a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Got to get that pepper in there for Linda. Absolutely. <laughs> and you know what, Linda? It does make a difference. Yeah, it gives Even it a kick. if you don't put a lot, you just put a little bit of cayenne pepper, it really does spice it up. Yeah. really does make a difference. Okay. So we got it all in here. I'm so used to using pepper and spices that it just tastes bland yeah and it's not in there yeah y'all have your favorite spices Mary they can put whatever they want to in it right. this is just what what I'm putting in this um, in the recipe for the members um, I've got and for anybody that wants it um, I've got two cups of flour and a half a cup of just plain panko breadcrumbs and I'm just using the store brand here I'll tell you, I am going to do something. I want this right okay. here, Mary. Okay. I am going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in this flour. Okay. Uh, we're going to do. The, we're going to salt the chicken with this. Okay. But uh, because there's a lot of flour, I'm going to just put a little bit of salt in here. About a half a teaspoon. You yeah, about a half a teaspoon. This is two two and a half cups of stuff, and I'm going to put a, probably about not quite a, a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. I'll just, just get this out of the way so we'll have a little more You can have that room. too. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of whisk this around together. Because I want to. I love those little whisks. I, I do too. I use it for so many things. I was in the drawer when they come in looking through the drawer trying to find my little whisk and I already had it out. So sometimes you just. I guess trying to find something is right in front of right, you. Right under your nose. That happens to me a lot. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use gloves because we're handling poultry. And um, I don't really think we need that recipe anymore. Do you, Mary? No, I don't. I'm, so, I'm following your instructions anyway. So I have, uh, I've got my wooden skewers and I've had them soaking in water. And um, this is my flour mixture. What I did with this chicken is I just put... I cleaned it, and um, and I know that everybody doesn't do like I do, uh, but I clean the chicken and get all the bad spots off and all the fat and everything, and then I cut it lengthways, and these were three boneless, chicken, boneless skinless chicken breasts. It made 31 pieces. You don't want your pieces real big because the other stuff you're cooking 
is not meat, so you want small bite-sized pieces. So I put two cups of whole milk, and I put about three tablespoons of lemon juice, which kind of mimics buttermilk. If you have buttermilk, you want to use buttermilk. If you want to just use plain milk, just use plain milk. I've only had this. This is better. Yeah, it kind of keeps it. It, it, it adheres better, right? Right. right. So um, I need to get some tongs. Well, we got our gloves on, so you can see that that's real thick. And you want uh, some tongs. I, I think we'll be okay because okay. we got our gloves on. Okay. Um, I was gonna get some, but I, I guess that's the purpose of getting the gloves out. <laughs> so um, we're just going to uh, do these on the skewers, and um, I think this is going to make about six. I usually try to put about five pieces of chicken okay. on a skewer. Okay. And that might not sound like much, but it well, um, makes a pretty like a good to me. makes yeah. a pretty good skewer. So how are we gonna do this, Mary? I don't know. You just tell me, um, and I'll follow you. We got to. I guess we're going to. Let's. Um, I guess we need to <laughs> act like I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's um, lace the stuff on the skewers first. Now, okay. One thing that's different about this recipe. Is we're putting pickles on it. I know what I make. Thinly see how sliced that, dill pickles. See how that works. And I've got a whole onion. This is about a medium sized onion. And I've got three bell peppers, red, yellow, and now, is orange. Is this a whole pep bell pepper? Yes. Each, each and color? these were not big bell peppers. Okay. okay. And this is just a, whoo, that onion's strong. This is just a, like a white onion. And so we're going to. We're going to uh, get our skewers here and skew them, and then then we're going to dip them in here. Do you want me to hand you the chicken? You can and do let, some. And, you can and, do some and, too. And let you flour them. Um, you can. You can. Well, uh, I'm just thinking about. You know how you dip your hands in flour and okay. This? okay. I mean, I'm just trying to save. Are you okay? Do you I, think, oh, I think. I think we're both going to stick yeah, first. I, I think we're both going to wrong end. Uh, Use the pointed end, y'all. Okay, so you so, think we both going yeah, to do it? Yeah, you, okay. you can both do it. We can both do it. Okay. And it's no rhyme or reason. You just put these on there however you want to do them. Thank you for getting that closer, Linda. Okay. And they're going to have batter on them, so it's not going to necessarily be like you have, um, um, you know, the, you're going to see the colors because they are going to have batter on them. Oh, was, oh, I forgot see, a pickle. See, I uh, uh, was wasn't knowing what that order you was doing. It, it doesn't I matter. I was thinking it doesn't matter. Well, what I know, order but I was do. thinking you was going to batter it first. But but uh, no, I'm going to dip them in here. Yeah, I'm going to dip them in here. Yeah, okay. So okay, so you want them close together? Did they put them pretty close together? I I want to give enough room okay. to have um, some batter in between them. Okay. So. Um, and we may have to push them down a little bit more to get uh, five pieces of chicken on here. Okay. But I want a little bit of space between them. Okay. And um, something that I did when I got through, I had um, I had some leftover pickles uh -huh. that that I had taken out because you don't want to put them back in the in the draw in the jar, right? Right. So I just fried them. The pickles, yeah. fried pickles. You know, and put we them on the side. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah. If we have onions left, yeah. I'm just gonna fry them. Yeah. Uh, Braden, he loves fried pickles, don't he, Linda? I do too. Mike never ate pickles. We were married for years. Never ate pickles until he ate some fried really? pickles, and he absolutely loved fried pickles. Well, you know, my girls uh, don't even like pickles. Period. <laughs> I know. I even let them in my house. <laughs> uh, Linda, I mean Carla, when she she, the, she was feeding the grandkids, and they love pickles. She'd make them go outside to eat them because she didn't want the that smell so in the house. Funny. She did not like them. Okay, Linda, um, so you want three? Um, I want five pieces of chicken. Five pieces yeah. of chicken? Oh, okay. Well, I got to get, I got to put them closer together then. Yeah, it's going to, and I'm dripping stuff in here, I but too. it's okay. So you want five pieces of chicken, okay. After you do the first one, you can yep, kind of tell. You know, yeah. I, when I first did this, I thought, that's not going to be enough chicken. And Mike said, five onion. pieces of chicken on a skewer off. is enough. He said, that's plenty chicken. I left my onion off, Linda. Well, it don't matter. You don't have to have it any in any order. Okay. You can do it however you want to do it. 
tell. I'm not used to doing this. I've, I've never, I don't, I don't think I've, I know I have never done uh, uh, kebabs like this. But that's okay. I'm learning. It's new. Okay, so onion, onion, pickle, onion. Okay, I've got, I ain't got but three pieces of chicken Okay, there. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these down here. Because I want to, after we get them done, I want to, um, I want to season them and okay. then roll them in flour. Okay. All right. Well, I'm slow with this, Linda. Well, I'm <laughs> probably pretty slow at it, too. Um, Linda, would you mind to check that uh, temperature of that oil over there for me? I keep putting these in on the wrong end. One, two, three, four. So I like one more. I'm making a mess. I need to separate some of them onions we stuck together. I guess I need a red piece. It's pretty, I know that. Yours looks so pretty. Thank you. One, two, three, four. So I need one more piece of chicken. You end in, in uh what? I did on that one, I ended in chicken, but you can end however you want to, Mary. We're not, this is not a, um, it's not artwork, it's just however you want to do it. Okay. And I like the thin pickles, so I like them because yeah. they're, um, they fry up. 363. Okay. Um, Let me put it on two. Would you turn the uh, thing to like on maybe three? I don't, I'm going to, I'm going to use it. Is it on three? Okay, turn it back just a little bit, Linda, if you don't mind, please. Like halfway? Between two yeah. Thank you. I hope that's not too close. No, that looks good. And the reason we're setting these aside is we're we're fixing to fry some, but I want to season them yeah. um, before we roll them in flour. Okay. I guess I already said that, didn't I? Uh, if you did, I didn't hear you. I, I'm concentrating. You know, <laughs> I can only do one thing at a time. <laughs> so sorry about that. Three, four. You might repeat it. Okay. It's so okay. three items. One, two, three. Okay. I'm getting the I'm getting the gist of it now. And you're doing these in oil. You're not grilling them. No, I'm okay. frying them. I am frying them. Okay. Now, if you wanted to grill them, grill them. Yeah. It just wouldn't be fried chicken kebabs. It'd be grilled chicken right. kebabs. And that's kind of what's different about these besides the fact that they have um, um, pickles on them. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. This is this will be this is all your meal in one, isn't it? Yeah, Got that's all. We, that's all we ate that day was yeah. these when I fixed them. Vegetables and meat and the whole thing. Let's and we that. may run out of one color before we do the others because a couple yeah. of these were smaller. So if we do, we'll just it's okay. put whatever. Okay. Like I All said, right. they're going to be. That's one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm doing better on this one. I'm really getting doing good. <laughs> <laughs> they're not, they're really not hard to make. They're just. No, it's just getting it in your, I think I just had to get it in my mind what I was actually doing. And how much more chicken do we have in there? I think we're going to come out with a couple extra pieces. One, so. two, three, four. I got five pieces on that one. Okay, see how many more is in there because we okay. may have to put six on a couple of them. Um, is it one more or two more? One, two, three, four. It's not going to be but one. It may, it may be six. I, I, one, two, three, four, five. I think there's six in here. Okay, give me an extra one and I'll okay. put it on this one. And that way we can do one more. And I'll let you do that last one. <laughs> I'm messy, is, isn't it? messy. <laughs> um, uh, you know I made a mess, but I'll clean it up just... Soon as I'm right, not, it's no nothing, nothing it nothing can't be cleaned up with, 
with water and That's soap. That's right. Okay, I'm going to take this glove off and put another one on so I can, I think I gave you an extra one too, Mary. Yeah. So we can season them. Yeah, I did make a mess. And I don't I? guess it would matter because I'm not going to use the what if there's any seasoning left, I'm going to throw it out anyway. But um, I just wanted to have enough. I didn't want to yeah. have to mix it up and then mix it up yeah. again. So I'm just going to I'm going to season these real heavily because you, you know how it is. You think you've got enough season in it, and then you after you cook them and you taste them, taste, you yeah. don't even taste like they got any season yeah. in them. That's the way some food I ate the other day was it just wasn't it wasn't um, seasoned good enough. You have to push them down a little bit more, and um, um, especially young cooks, maybe maybe not just young cooks. Yeah. I've eaten stuff from people that had been around a while, right. and they just did not have yeah. salt in it. Right. And I know pe people are particular about salt, and some some of our viewers may use salt substitutes or something, but um, or may not use any salt. Mike is real particular about salt intake, but um, foods just okay. don't taste right unless they have some salt in it. All right, I'm gonna put this on there. Okay. On the end. Okay. Okay. All right. Was you waiting on me? Yeah, but that's okay. Uh, sorry. All right. Now, do you want? Do you want? So this I'm going to the oh, onions yeah. in the pickles put them together okay and um, I'm going to um, I'm gonna fry them, fry them. so okay. I'm gonna turn these over and season the other side now I know that side's got flour in it already or some of them do but we're gonna season them again so what was the purpose of uh, soaking the skewers um, they're wood, and you know I don't. Uh -huh. I've never had a skewer to burn up, but they always tell you to soak them, don't they, Mary? Mm -hmm. If they're wooden yeah. skewers, yeah. Now, if you have metal skewers, you know, well, they don't need soaking, but the wood ones do. Okay, we're gonna fry all this. I'm gonna wash my hands. So I'm gonna I'm gonna season these veggies too, cause we're gonna okay. we're gonna fry them too. Did you already have washcloth over there? No, yeah, I didn't, Mary. Okay. I didn't get one over here. Okay. So, um, I'm going to check the temperature again on the, um, on my oil. Okay. And I use Wesson oil, and I know that um, grocery prices are high now. And if you use an off-brand oil, or maybe you use peanut oil, that is, that is fine to use whatever you're used to using. I prefer either Wesson or Crisco. Um. But you can absolutely use whatever you want to. I do not use off-brand oil. I try not to at all. But I definitely would not use it on frying pies. And I know we're not frying pies today. But it makes a, a difference. Don't you think it does, yes. Mary? Yes, it does, Linda. It does. Some oils heat up faster than others. It makes a difference. Yes, now it we're, does. we're just going to kind of shake these off just okay. a little bit. All right. Um, so wh what are you going to put those on? Uh, they're in that uh, maker's rack back there, Mary. Okay. Uh, uh, get a need? couple of those large paper plates. You see them? Yes. And we'll just lay them on here. Okay. And um, I'm not going to cook all these at one time, even though I probably could in that pot. I'm not going to because I don't want to crowd them. Okay. So we're probably going to cook like three at a time. Okay. And I'm just shaking. And we're using that nine quart. Yes, the nine quart uh, okay. pot. And um, I'm just going to shake them off just a little bit just to get that excess flour off. Now, this flour did stick to this a little more than what I'd done the last time because it, it was uh, a thicker milk with the, you know, with the buttermilk. Yeah. buttermilk. I like using buttermilk whenever you're doing chicken or any kind of meat if you want a thick coating. Yeah. Because. Um, Me too. Because it does stick better. Oh, I'm going to, um, before I get rid of this, I'm going to okay. put these in there because we're going to fry okay. these two after right. the fat. Okay. And this is just the leftover vegetables and pickles. And I think I'm 
This is just kind of a little extra something to go yeah, on your tray. I think be no good. use to throw them out. That's right. These pickles are so little. <laughs> are you going to use, well, no, yeah, I guess you have to use a spider to get them out. Yeah, I got my spider over there. Okay. okay. I'll just do away with this. Just get that out of the way. And then we're going to move over, over to, to the, the camera, uh, over to the stove. Yeah, I mean. to the stove. Okay. And set all this here. Oh, you didn't use your extra glove, did you? No. I, it wasn't no use, I don't think, because you was getting them um, okay. coated yourself. So the what the oil, you see how what the temperature You check the temperature, Mary? I'm going to check it. Did I press the on button? <laughs> that would help, wouldn't you, Linda? <laughs> uh. Now, um, this is probably going to make some noise, so um, let us know, Linda, if this is too loud. And if it is, we'll, I'll turn my microphone off. What temperature are you wanting, Linda? I want it at least 350. At okay, least it's, 350 it's high enough. enough. Okay. Yeah. All right, so it's, once we put this in here, it's going to cool the oil down okay. because, uh, you know, I had yeah. this soaking in the, in right. the refrigerator. So that's, that's a pretty yeah. good kebab, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to splatter grease on me, so I'm going to do this very gently. Oh, it's off completely now, isn't it? Whoops. Okay. Now, we're just going to let it cook a minute. And well, it's going to cook longer than a minute. Are you going to you just kind of judge it? I'm, I am going to time it. Okay. And I think I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes. Okay. And it might not take that long. You can kind of tell. Okay. I know you probably wouldn't cook it that long, but well, I don't know. Um, I, don't, I, I just uh, want to make sure that it's that it's done. Mike and I tend to cook stuff a little longer than some people do, but um, you know, um, this morning I was thinking about um, is that noise? Do we need to step away from that? Um, maybe if, if we're going to be a okay. Um, so I was thinking about this morning. Uh, we have a lot of viewers that uh, I'm thinking about caregivers and we have a lot of viewers that take care of somebody mm -hmm. um, I know Mary was talking about one this morning we're not going to mention any names but um, and I have uh, personal friends that are taking care of uh, different family members right. and and not to embarrass anyone because I'm not calling names but um, you know sometimes the people that seem the strongest, they're not always made of steel. You may yeah. think they are, right. but they can bend and break too. Right. And I was thinking about um, sometimes, and I've said this all along, and of course we go back to daddy because, you know, we lived through that. But um, you think about how hard it is on a caregiver because especially if you've been a caregiver for somebody that's close to you, and I'm not necessarily talking about sitting with uh, a patient, which that can take a toll on you too. I have not been in that situation, but I've seen and I've had clo people close to me that have been caregivers. Mama was one. Yeah. And um, it's, um, you, you took care of Bobby too, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and it's very hard on the caregiver but then when you think about it, if it's, and we're going to talk about caregivers in a minute, but if you think about how hard it is on the caregiver, have you ever thought about how hard it is on the patient? Yeah. Well, no, I, get, I, I, I haven't, I'm not thinking of it, but yeah, but that is something to think about. So if you, if you think about it, because people that do care for other people, and when I say care for them, I'm talking about their daily needs, support, medicine, you know, back yeah. and forth to doctor's appointments and uh, dealing with um, different things, whatever the illness is that you deal with. Um, it's, um, 
you know that that person, unless unless they are medicated to where they don't know right. what's going on, yeah. you it know that person it is, it's a very them. hardship right. on that person, right. yeah. too. So what, what I wanted, I guess what I wanted to say today, or hopefully I can get this across the way I want to say it, um, when you see someone in line at a grocery store, and, and again, we have a family member, and I don't want to call a name, but when you see someone in line at a grocery store and they may they may not be smiling, they may not be happy go lucky, you do not know what's in that person's head, how knowing that they've got to hurry up and get back yeah. to care for that person yeah. Yeah. and you don't know what kind of a stressful morning they've had. So when you're out and about and when you're going about your daily life um, you don't, you can't, you don't have any way of knowing. I, I know I'm, I'm going around a long way to say what I'm trying to say, but this goes back to those little small acts of kindness. You do not know what a kind gesture might that's do for that person right, that right. day. Yeah, that's right. Because Mary and I both have had many people tell us, even even in the little giveaways that mm -hmm. we give away, which right. are minute right. compared to people's lives problems. We're not planning a funeral today. We're right. not trying to decide whether to put a person in a long-term facility knowing that's going to be their final days. Right. We're not dealing with that. But right. there are people today, I believe in our listening audience. Sorry, what? <laughs> I felt my apron had something in my pocket. Look what I had in my pocket. Onion. <laughs> we won't fry that one. I'm sorry, Linda. Um, <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt. That's you. okay. Um, it it's you know in uh, the people in our listening audience today, they may be going through something like this, yeah, not that's knowing true. where. That's and true. then and then on the flip side of the coin, you have. Um, I'm gonna check this real okay. quick. You have after a person is gone after their. Um, after they leave this world, you have the the guilt aspect of the person that cared for them, not knowing. I'm gonna turn that oil up just a little bit. I don't okay. want it up real high, but not not knowing what to do with themselves because they're lost mm -hmm. because they have spent 24 seven caring for a loved one mm -hmm. for some of them for it years. It's hard. It's all that's hard. So yeah. you're lost. You don't know what to do with yourself. You feel like you don't belong. How many times did Mama say mm -hmm. she'd go to a banquet or mm -hmm. to a church function and everybody it was couples? Mama yeah. was by herself, yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah. So um, I think I, I think what I'm saying today all the time. is just um, be cognizant of your of people around you because people that you think are made of steel have a breaking point. And you don't know at any right. given day what that breaking what that breaking point right. may be. Yeah, that's true. And they may be at that breaking yeah, point. Right. So whether it's a caregiver, or a patient, or someone who's lost a spouse, or or lost a loved one in mm -hmm. a divorce, that's right. another situation is, that that people are. They're it's, fragile. It's it's a process that you go through, and it's something that. Um, you, I don't think that anybody can know how it feels unless they've been through it. It's right. like losing a child. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, can, you can empathize with someone, but you cannot know the pain unless it's happened to you. That's right. That's right. You don't, you don't know until you've walked a mile in their shoes of what they're going through. It's looking pretty good, Mary. Oh, yeah, it is. I did turn that up just a little bit because it, it, my, okay. my oil got just a little bit cool. Okay. I'm going to turn it back up. Okay. But, but you don't want it to cook so fast that, you know, you're going to bite into the meat and it's not going to be done. Right. But, um, mm, it's really good. It smells good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And I didn't have this pot. I didn't even have it half full of oil. I could have put more oil in it. But that's, that, but that's I enough. thought it was enough. Mm -hmm. So, and that was almost half of that gallon bottle. So yeah. that was a lot of oil. Yeah. This is, is a big. This is a big pot. Yes, so, it is. Um, it's so sad that they don't. We can't buy. It I anymore. know. If any, if anybody got these, they are lucky. Yeah, very, very lucky that they did. Okay. All right. I hope I didn't leave that on that lower thing too long, but hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah. Um. 
And I'm not putting a lid on it, of course, because I don't want my breading to fall right. off. And I can't wait for y'all to try these. Oh, I know it. I'm excited about it. We're going to drain them on this rack when right. we bring them out. And, um, I know it's and then we'll be cook delicious. those other three. Going to be delicious. I asked Mike, did he want me to wait and cook his later? And he said, no, cook them all at the same time. So is that right? Does he want them a certain way or it doesn't nope. matter? No, nope. this is just well, how good. I did them before. Good. Well, I'll make just a try them. What are they? I say? don't care for onions, but I can eat them. Uh, the onions is going to be kind of like a, a blooming onion. Kind of like so a blooming onion or an onion ring, yeah. except just not yeah. as much batter. Yeah. And yeah. I thought about that too, Mary, but, um, and I could have yeah. made some no, without no, onions. No, 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 I like the flavor. I like yeah. the flavor because it will flavor the meat. And, um, and, and I, I try to put an onion next to the meat. Uh, too, yeah. you know, for that reason, right. to flavor right. it. And um, we got some new flavor and some new spices um, coming out too. And I didn't use any on these because I, I wanted to try them before I used them okay. on a recipe. We haven't told, because everybody might not have been on our video when we told them we actually given a gift oh, away yeah. today. Oh, yeah, show it to them. Uh, what we do with it. <laughs> I think it's on, the, on that hutch, Mary. Okay. We're giving away this set. This is a medium, isn't it? Yes, that's medium, a medium. Ziploc. It's reusable. Reusable. You can put them in the microwave. You can dishwash them. Uh, they're dishwasher. Freezer, set. oven, yeah. up yeah. to 400. And then this is a small one. They Ziploc. They they have that the uh, silicone Ziploc. So they're um, very nice little bags here that we're giving away to a person just randomly selecting, randomly selecting from your comments at the end of the video will be drawing for this. Carla will be yes, uh, drawing she's monitoring for this. that. Hey, Sorry. Carla, um, and um, Linda, of course, is behind the camera. Yeah, um, we um, uh, if you have if you want to declutter in your car and are in your purse. Uh, that little bag is Mine. excellent for that. Yeah. I keep my bobby pins in it, and it's it's excellent yeah. to take, especially when you're going um, to uh, going somewhere. Yeah, they looking good. And know. about three is about all you could you couldn't have gotten four in there. I don't believe. No, I, think it, I wanted it. I wanted it to cook. You know, and and not yeah. um, not be crowded. Right. So when you're frying something, right. it's important not to crowd right. it because we're using the middle of the pan. Mm -hmm. um, now this will fry a lot of fried pies, but these are kind of long. These these skewers yeah. are so they have to fit in the middle. Have you decided yet? Will you do, you have decided um, when we, you're going to do fried pies? It's next month, isn't it? Isn't I it think it, we put it on the calendar mirror, but yeah. I can't remember. Linda's going to do fried pies and show y'all how to do them. And we're doing them over a two-day period. Yes. yes. So we're making the filling one day. day. Mm -hmm. and the next day we're rolling them out, filling them, and frying them. Right. And you can pretty much do that in two days mm -hmm. uh, comfortably. Right. And you can do it in one day if you want to work 12 or 14 hours in one day. And, of course, we don't make a half a dozen or a dozen. <laughs> we make a 75 lot. or 80 yeah, yeah. at one time, and that's just one bag of the yeah, flour mix. Yeah. Um, how many dozen did Mama used to make when she made them, Mary? A lot more than that. Oh, goodness. We would do 15, 20 dozen at a time. And Mama I put made them 50, in the freezer. Yeah, I made 50 dozen a, a couple times. But that was with a lot of, with my husband. My husband yeah, was some help. Me. We cleaned one whole bedroom out and set tables up. It was in the winter time. So they stayed out. And, they, yeah. And um, I never liked putting them in the refrigerator. So no, we it, didn't in the winter in the time, if you cold, have a cold we place. We turned all the air out of there. It was cold, like a refrigerator yeah. in that room. And Mama put her, she would make hers up and freeze them on cookie sheets. 
But I never did like to do that because they it don't cause puff them, up as much. They cause a moisture too and the dough and, gets a little bit soggy. And your grease uh, splatters. splatters really bad. But we Mama didn't. done it because she was by herself and that was the best way right. she could do it. Right. And hers were hers were smaller like you make. Yeah. They weren't the big ones I like always I make, make the smaller ones. Um, that's just what I did, you know. But when you started making them, you made them larger, which is great because... When you eat the smaller ones, you'd eat two or three, and with the big ones like you make, you don't, you don't eat, can't eat but one. Yeah, and if you want to make them, you're going to want to have the stuff ahead of time so you can make them along with us. Um, I'm going to get another plate okay. and get a knife out so we can check that chicken okay. in a minute. Um, I don't want to serve somebody raw chicken, but it's getting, oh. I think it's getting close oh, to being I, done. I think that chicken's done. It really don't take as long to cook chicken as what you think it does. At least that's what, I mean, I've learned that. It, for me, I, I cook it, I cook it till it's done. Uh, but I have, now the reason I say that is because I have lots of times overcooked mine. Yeah, it, it, that's easy to do. And, um, you know, and you don't want to overcook it. I just cut oh, them. I thought you were going to put them on that rack. I am, but oh, I want to okay. cut in one of these sure. pieces of chicken sure. to see if I think it's done. Well, for one thing, it's it's cr you know it's crowded up there. Let me show you. I think it's done. Oh, okay. I think okay. it's done. Okay. Uh, because it's crowded, it would take a little bit longer than just if it was just thrown in there by itself. Now, we want these to stay crunchy, so I'm, um, they sure do look good. Mm, that's a that is a full meal, isn't it? Yeah, doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'll pick it up in a minute. <laughs> and you see, it's got batter on it, yeah. but it's not just no, overloaded it looks in beautiful, batter. Beautiful, Linda. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I need that spider. Oh, I don't okay. want this to splatter. Okay. With uh, coming over here this morning, the, uh, all the trees are so green. I know, you know it's like a second spring, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because of all the rain we've gotten. You know, it was still raining this morning, Linda. It just not heavy. It was kind of like a mist, but I had to use my wipers on the car. Yeah, they said um, it was going to rain some more. Does it? Um, is it? Yeah, okay. and we probably, I imagine that we got close to eight inches here. I'm sure Jan next door could tell me exactly how many, but yeah. I know that first 24 hours we got almost five, and then we've gotten, we gotten some, yeah. the next day we right. got a lot of rain. Right. And for anybody that's never been to East Texas, when it flash floods, I mean, it, yeah. it's, the roads collect the water. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, look at Dallas and Fort Worth. When I was going to Kilgore, was it yesterday? No, it wasn't yesterday. The day before when I, was, I made three trips into Kilgore, uh, one, the, the last trip that I made, it was raining so hard. And I had a grip on that steering wheel so tight, I fishtailed twice. I mean, I felt it, and, and, I, yeah. and I just let off the accelerator, and, uh, and I, yeah, I was okay. But um, I was going slow, and I mean, when I time I got to the funeral home, my hands were just red as they from gripping that steering yeah, wheel. It's, it it's, was really it's bad. It's very weather. scary when you're on my hydroplane that one time on 79, mm -hmm. going toward Carthage, mm -hmm. and um, it's a four-lane highway. And um, if anybody has never been on that road, you don't know how busy that road is. He fishtail cross cross the uh, um, four lanes. There was not a medium in it. He crossed the four lanes where he was at. His truck completely turned around and and landed side up. It never turned over uh, right next to a fence post and like inches from a tree. Mm, yeah. And it, well, I didn't need the road. I didn't need it's, the road. Um, it, uh, that's a lot of people. Linda's fish, Linda's the hydroplane before. Yeah. And, um, well. The roads, the, what it is, the ruts are full of water. Yeah, they are. So you can't, I have to get, to, when I drive, I get out of those ruts. You know, I don't, as long as there's no cars coming in the other lane. 
and because those ruts was full of water and I mean I felt I felt that move and man I let off that accelerator quick and and had hold of that steering wheel I I didn't never lose control and when you have to change lanes that can be tricky yeah. too because yeah. then you're going across those exactly. ruts with water in them exactly uh, that's that's the way it was down here on 59 of uh, back weeks ago before we got so dry and I was changing lanes and you know it's it's, it's you know you could definitely feel yeah. your car moving yeah you definitely can okay yep. I'm gonna move some of this stuff over here Mary okay and uh, get this set up so you can stay over there and talk okay. or whatever you want right. to and um, get this set up so we can uh, yeah I've uh, played this uh, the it's September yeah the last week of September I'm going to be doing a, a I think you're doing the fried pies the middle of the month and the uh, end of the month that cake that I made at Linda's birthday party is butterscotch it that was that delicious cake it, it was I mean they were cake. all good they were it, all delicious it was good um so and I had a lot of requests for, re for the recipe for that butterscotch cake so we're going to do two videos of that because it is a long process it takes a while to make that cake so I'm going to be giving y'all that uh, uh, video and and um, uh, the recipe so it was a really good cake so it I thought sure y'all want that we just try to um, make what try to show y'all what y'all are wanting on a video uh, we have a lot of requests for we was talking about that the other day, Linda and I are doing our calendars of what we're going to fix from now to Christmas. We're going to be doing a lot. We may even start cooking more on our videos because um, it getting to, into the holidays, you know. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure that we are, but, you know, when we first started, we did three days a week of cooking. So um, we might... We're just um, thinking about it. I'm in there beating and banging, thinking I'm away from the mic and not realizing it's on me. <laughs> I muted you. Thank you. Um, so we've had a lot of people comment they are looking forward to seeing your uh, Lego cake tomorrow. Okay. Yes, yes I'm excited. I hope they're not disappointed. Oh, they won't be, Linda. You you do a beautiful job of decorating. It's going to be and, uh, it's going to be a little better. mixture. I hope of something Brayden likes. Brayden, does he know that Linda's doing in my cake? Uh -huh. Does he? Yeah. Okay. Brayden, you can never tell though with his if he's happy. You can't or... see his expression. But that's okay. Yeah. He'll probably eventually tell you, Linda. Yeah, <laughs> he will. I bought him a shirt for his birthday yesterday, and I gave it to him because it came in the mail, and he smiled, and I was like, yes, because <laughs> like, he never expresses whether he likes anything or not. <laughs> mm. He's a sweetheart. He had not been out to the house lately. He needs to come back out there and he loves to just walk. So around my property and he, um, he hadn't done that lately. He's going to have to come out there. But it's been raining. You know, the rain just stops you from doing anything outdoors. Of course, Linda, she was cleaning my porch. Um before it started raining. So she's got to finish that too. Uh, the uh, funeral uh, yesterday was really nice. It was really nice. The, um, all the speakers, they were um, that really nice tribute to Brother uh, Lore. We um, met a lot of nice people. Some, some of our followers were there which was nice to see them and um, some of them from different areas. I think one lady said she was from North Carolina. That oh was a relative goodness. to Brother Lauren and she watches us. And um, then someone from um, uh, all, around, all around Houston and, and this area here. Um, yeah, I didn't tell you Aunt Linda, but I was coming out of the foyer. Uh -huh. And this sweet lady says, are you Linda? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> and then it was from Pinky Malls. I was like, Aww. oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> I was that was so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> that was very sweet. We hardly ever get out that we don't see someone. Right. 
that watches us, which is nice. It's always um, nice to connect. Here's my end of that. Oh, your stick? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm finding it, but it's taking me a minute. Oh, that's cool. what I was afraid I was going to do. There's the one I needed. Yeah. Well, well, you're doing a better job. I'm not, not having not much luck. Probably. Trying to turn them over. Yeah. I don't know if it's doing any good or not, but. Yeah, I think it is. I think it, it does good to you turn them over. I anyway, think. let's see if this looks pretty crispy. Oh, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Crispy. Yeah. I know that's mm. going to be delicious. When we get these out, we're going to fry them. Okay. And um, how long we've been cooking? Oh, we haven't been cooking. I went ahead and set the timer this time on Did you? the full amount of minutes. Okay. But, and how uh, many minutes is that? How many minutes you put on there? Fourteen. Okay. Well, that's I, okay. I know Mary wouldn't cook them. That no, long, but no. I don't know how long I would cook them because I've never done this. I did it twelve so, to start with, and I cooked you, them a little bit yeah. longer after no, twelve. You, it, this is perfect. That's about what I did before when did I made you? them for us. Okay. Yeah. No. Every every. It depends on how what you're doing, with how long you have to cook it, and your the chicken was close together, all those things. So. Uh, it would take it a little bit, pro I would think it would take longer than if you just dropped a piece of chicken in there, you know? Yeah. So, um, um, we didn't tell Carla when to pick the winner. Has she got she one? Has okay. one? Okay. Okay. So, we'll so, wait. We'll wait a okay. couple more minutes before okay. we tell who the winner is. Okay. And when we announce your name, we need your address um, uh, texted to us, but wait until the program's over. Yes. And text your address to 903 235 Four eight zero four, and let me tell y'all, when you're when you're doing your birthday, um, when you're entering your birthday for the for the aprons, uh, for the winner on that, put put your name. Some of you just assumes that we know who you are by your telephone number, but we get so many numbers that are the same area code. Yes, that's so much like we really don't know your name. So we don't want to offend you, but please put your name on there too, because um, you know we don't we don't we may not we may not recognize your phone number, and so. we don't um, you know we do have a few numbers saved in our phone, but we but that's usually our personal phones, right. not our not the right. business phone. Right, right. So it helps us a lot if right. y'all will do that. Does Pampership have a pot that's similar to this one? <laughs> we got a new one that's coming out. We're going to be showing next week. Yeah, not, not quite, quite as big as this mm -hmm. one. Go ahead, Mary. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's it's just not quite as big, but it is bigger than what they have. Yeah, and uh, already got out. So hopefully, what, we'll what I'm show happy it next about week. is. Um, these new pieces, you can purchase them individually. That's my favorite part of it. Yes. Even uh, even these, now not this one, but the set of these. The old cookware. The old cookware, or you can start in September 1st, you can buy them individually, and I am so glad. Because everybody needs another little boiler, or either they need the five quart. Yeah, but not necessarily but a not skillet. But not the set. That's right. So I'm I'm really excited yeah, about too. that, and Very I excited. used I used our new board yesterday. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I've used I love I've it. used it yeah. once too, um, and it doesn't have these handles on it. No, it don't have those. But it does have another little thing that helps right. with that. Right. But I absolutely love this that I you can pick these up. Me too. Don't touch the pot because yeah. it will burn you. But I've got the handles. Yep. I've gotten used to the, the handles not getting hot, and then you then pick up one of them others, mm -hmm. and you're gonna have some burnt hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we could put this on a higher temperature, but I didn't want it on a higher temperature because yeah, I don't want done. the uh, right. bell peppers and right. the onions. I don't want them burnt up. Right. And this cooked pretty evenly. It here. did. It did. And because you've got. Um, you can see the bell pepper there. You can see a little bit of the red, and there's some of the onion. Um, but when you pull them apart, um, it's, you're not going to be eating something that, that's um, 
that's cooked too long right. or that hopefully right. it's not cooked too no, long. No, I don't think so. I think I think you're doing great. <laughs> we'll find out in, in a few minutes. <laughs> I swallowed air the wrong way. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Linda, um, Brother Williams at the funeral, I knew this about him, but uh, they elaborated on, I didn't know it at, to the extent that he gave so many people a pocket knife. That's oh, just his, no. that's just was his, and did you know, we got there late, and so we didn't get one. Did you see them, Linda? Did you see me out? I think they had already given them away. Did but they hand out? They handed out everybody that was there that got there early because we didn't get there till 11 o'clock, um, a pocket knife. Gave everybody well, that, that attended a pocket knife. I thought that was real cute, real sweet of the family doing that. He gives, he give you gifts all the time. He gave me a clock, a spindle and clock, and uh, it, I, every time I look at it, I think about yeah, him. Yeah, that is just, so sweet. You go see him and he'd give, him, give you something. And, that in just in our thing. age, and and I think our cousins probably do. I know our brothers do. Mm -hmm. Daddy, Pinky, Paul, Polly, you never saw a man when we were growing up that didn't have a pocket yeah. knife in yeah. their pocket. That's that's what that's part of Brother uh, uh, Boatman's uh, sermon yesterday was that uh, our age and his age, every man had a handkerchief and a um, pocket knife, pocket knife, and, and a hat, pen, and a yeah, and a hat, and a pen and paper instead of a computer a phone mm -hmm. that everybody uses nowadays it's just our generation and it's just changed but that's what used to everybody i think those are done don't you Mary? i think so linda you know you know women and men used to carry handkerchiefs to church that's a in our our church they did yeah um, they and uh I have some beautiful handkerchiefs that one of the uh, men in our church, uh, he passed away from COVID. Um, oh. Yeah, but he uh, he made handkerchiefs and gave them away. Uh, and he prayed over every one of them. He, oh. he stitched, he had an embroidery machine, and he would stick on, um, I think I gave you one, Linda. Didn't I give you a handkerchief that said, some, I forgot what he had different uh, sayings on them, scriptures or are mm -hmm. or, or blessed or thankful or whatever. I think I gave you a handkerchief like that that mm -hmm. he made. I don't, I don't know if, if Aunt Linda remembers this, but I went through a handkerchief phase, and Aunt Linda made me a bunch of them, and I still have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love um, handkerchiefs. Yeah. I, I knew I made handkerchiefs for all the girls. I think Carla may have her girls. I have several that you made um, me. It's just something because I've never, I've never been a seamstress like Mom and Mary, and but you, you and handkerchiefs is something that I like yeah. to do because it's little and you can get the job done quick. Right, you're not going to have to stress out well, over you, it. Well, you know, um, when Mother was in hospice, uh, Carla and Grace embroidered handkerchief. I had handkerchiefs and they embroidered. Did you do one did, um, at the rehab? I mean, at the hospital. It was the night before, night she, before died. she died. Yeah. And um, we, were, Mary and I, were taking turns sitting up with Mother. We had been for two weeks, yeah. and uh, I would say, say one night and part of the day, and then she would come and do the next. And the night before Mama died, May twenty-six, Grace and Carla. Grace was in school at Arkansas University mm -hmm. of Arkansas, and her kids were little. And she left him with, with her husband and came down, and Carla came down. Mm -hmm. And um, I brought stuff for all of us in Broadway that night because we knew we wasn't mm -hmm. going to sleep. So um, Carla and Grace in Broadway, it was some kind of a scarf, I think. Like, a, I don't know if it was a table scarf. And I in Broadway something. They, not, neither one of them didn't sleep. I laid down a little bit, but I didn't sleep either. I could hear them talking. But um, I think Carla Grace, put hers in. Grace, was it Carla or Grace, Grace put Grace hers in the, put in, in the coffin, coffin with Mama? Yeah, yeah. I think Carla may have kept hers because she wanted to keep it as right. a remem uh, right. as a reminder of right. um, what she was doing yeah. the night before um, Mama passed away. One of these days, we're going to get out some things that Mama and yeah. Molly made, and some of the things that. Um, I mean, you can see all over our house, both of our houses, things that 
either Mary Maid or y'all know I'm not I'm not crafty I'm not a seamstress but um, little things that some not so little that that are and very one, very precious to me and one, I'm sorry Linda go ahead Kathy LePage says she has a handkerchief that you made her from 15 years ago oh my goodness oh. how that's so yes, sweet. It is, Kathy. That's it's my, so sweet of you not, keeping up with that. My friend, our friend in uh, California, um, I ran the miles the other day to, uh, to your city, uh, Kathy. I was thinking, you know, that would be such a fun road trip yeah. to go. Yeah. But um, I, I'm not sure that that will ever happen, but it would be fun yeah, if we could. Would. I've never actually been to her town. I think it's on the coast. Of California, north of LA. Yeah, I've been to California several times on trips and uh, work work trips. San Diego, Los Angeles, all around both areas, and San Francisco. Yes, we we have lots of places. Yeah. Um, Kathy is, um, there's another friend, she was, she was Kathy's friend, and I knew her, and I, I always really liked her, and I don't know if she's watching today or not, but her name is Irene, and she actually lives in Delma Houston. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Is that right? And so, Irene, well, if you're not... watching, welcome yeah. to our uh, program, and yeah. we hope that you will continue to watch us and of, tell your friends about us. We have a lot of uh, followers in Houston area. Turn this off. Okay. These didn't need to cook long because this is just pickles and yeah. the peppers and onions may have a little crunch, but if they do, that's okay. Whoops, yeah. I don't want that in there. So y'all see my little dark crud there. This grease well, will get thrown away. That uh, that happens when you fry a lot of things. Okay, proof's in the pudding. Pick up the boiler by the I'm, handles. I'm ready to taste one of them. Things. All right. Um, what do you want to? Put them. Put them on the platter over there. I've got I've got it over here on the counter, Mary. Okay. I was gonna get my camera. Oh, to okay, to take a picture. Okay. Yep. So we're gonna plate these up and see what everybody thinks. Isn't that pretty? I'll put the little pickles around it. Did you get the picture? I have a, did you want it with the pickles on there? Yeah, I think so. Sure are pretty. Now, I have a feeling this onion and bell pepper is gonna be a little crunchy, but y'all don't have to eat them if you don't want to. I just didn't That's okay. want to waste them. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to put one of the red ones down there. Linda probably could have done a better job no, of this. <laughs> At least we didn't forget. Yeah. Thank you, Mary, for not forgetting. Okay. Um, now, do we just eat it off the stick? Um, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to take mine and pull them apart, but I'll Are get you, you a fork. Okay. I'll get you a fork because you may want a fork. No, I don't. I really don't think I will, Linda. I was okay. just wondering how you was going to do it. Well, just in case. Well, I'm just going to pick one up then. And here's a knife. If you Did you want some, some I kind don't of need sauce it. or mm -mm. something? No, I don't. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Let's give it a try. I'm just gonna use it like a corn cob. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna, are you gonna try bite, Linda, or wait until we get off air? I'll wait till we get off camera. Okay. It's delicious, Linda. Is it crunchy? Mm-hmm. Delicious. I'm just gonna pull mine apart. Very good. I'm just gonna eat it. The onion. See, mm. I don't I don't like raw onions, but I like them when they're cooked. It's delicious. I want you to try a pickle. Oh, I know I like fried fried pickles. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay. 
I'll eat the rest of that in a minute. <laughs> Are y'all ready for the winner? Yes, yeah. we're ready for the winner. All right. Stay Bird Staley, S-T-A-L-E-Y. Okay, and where's she from? Uh, Plainfield, Indiana. Okay, and is it B-I-R-D? B-Y-R-D. Okay. Congratulations to Faye Bird Staley or Stanley? It's Staley, I think. S T A L E Y. Okay. S-T-A-L-E-Y. okay. Um, congratulations. We'll get this in the mail to you. We hope you like this, and we thank everyone for watching us. Um, we hope that y'all will try this. I think they'll like it. Mm -hmm. I, I think know you they will. will. It's delicious. And if you're if you if, like chicken, bell peppers. If you're not into frying, just grill it or bake it. Yeah. Um, it won't be as crunchy grilled and or, or fried. I mean, yeah. baked, not yeah. grilled. Yeah. But anyway, I'm getting mixed up here. So thank y'all very much. Um, don't forget that we'll be on live tomorrow. I didn't create an event. Okay. But, um, uh, you know, Facebook changes stuff from time to time. And I have a feeling that some of y'all may be missing our lives. Maybe if the bell got knocked off or something. Yeah. So you might want to check that from check time to time. Check notifications, yeah. So we love y'all. Love you. Be sure to count your blessings, yes. and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye.